Hi friends! Today we're going to go over my TBR for the month of January. I know what you're all thinking. Jessica doesn't do TBRs. Why is she doing a TBR on January? Slightly because this month I'm doing the Get Shit Done Readathon that is being hosted by Beautifully Bookish Bethany and some others of her friends that I will link here and here and here and everywhere. They will be here with me right now because I didn't do research ahead of time because I'm a horrible person, as you all know. The Get Shit Done Readathon is a readathon, surprise, that is taking place during the month of January and just trying to get all of the things that we need to read off of our shelves. So it's kind of a TBR for that, but also I have some other things that I'm going to be going through and then some books that you're not going to know until the videos later on. First let's talk about book clubs. I am going to be doing three book clubs this year. My local bookstore, which is called Wheatberry, they have a fiction book club that they do monthly. And so I'm going to start participating in that. The pick for the January book is Next Year in Havana. And I don't have my copy of that yet, but I will be picking that up very soon. So for January, for the fiction book club, that's what I'll be reading. Also this year, they are starting a YA book club, and I'm actually going to be one of the co-facilitators for that. So I got to pick the book for January, February, because we're doing bi-monthly. And because it's a YA book club, and because YA books can sometimes be iffy, I did want to pick something that I have already read before, so I know what the content is, so that I'm not, like, picking Ninth House or... A Sarah J Mass book that someone's telling me is YA that I know is not YA. So for the YA book club I picked Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. This is the first book in the Truly Devious series. If for some reason you live somewhere near Chillicothe, Ohio and you want to be part of the Wheatberry book club and join me and read this and come hang out in person and discuss it. That's totally cool. I will link Wheatberry's Facebook page in the description box below. You can check that out. Stalk me. It's fine. Nobody cares. That's a lie. I do care. Please don't stalk me. That's creepy. It's excessive. Don't do that. The next book club pick, I can't tell you because it's a secret right now, but the next book club pick will be for the new book club that Kate and I are running on our AuthorTube chat videos. So we're going to be doing a bi-monthly book because we always end up getting off topic and discussing a book anyway. So we decided that it would be a really fun idea to do a book club through that because then you guys get to join us and talk about books that we're all reading at the same time versus just whatever random thing Kate and I have recently read. You're still gonna get stuck with that also, but at least there'll be one book that we all can kind of be on the same page about. I know what the book pick is gonna be for January, February, but you will find that out this weekend. The next AuthorTube chat is this Saturday, which is January 4th at 3 p.m. EST on my channel. It's actually already up, so you can set a reminder for that. If you don't wanna miss that, we're gonna be talking about planning for success. So planner stuff and announcing the book club book for January, February. I guess there's four book clubs. The other book club that I do tend to take part in is Beautifully Bookish Bethany's book club for her patrons. And this month we're reading The Wives by Taryn Fisher. I picked that up off of Hoopla, so I'm ready to read that as well. And I don't know what that one's about. I don't know what any of these are about. This is a great video right now. You guys are just thrilled, aren't you? Let us move on. There are three new releases in January that I'm hoping to get to. They're already pre-ordered, so I'm just waiting for them to arrive. The first is Chosen by Kirsten White. It is the second book in the Slayer series, which it's kind of a continuation of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. It takes place after the comic books. So you have to have read, you don't have to have read, but you need to probably have watched the TV show and also have some knowledge of the comic book season eight, season nine, and I think there might even be a season 10. Not 100% sure on that. I have read like an arcing overview of what there are. I have been trying to get through the seasons of the comic books, but they're kind of hard to come by sometimes. So I'm, I'm, I'm working on it, but I'm not all the way there. So I'm really excited about Chosen. I really enjoyed Slayer. A lot of people who are like true Buffy fans don't really enjoy it. It's kind of like revisiting some childhood nostalgia for me. So I enjoyed it. The next is Tweet Cute by Emma Lord. I don't know, but it's right here and you can look and tell me what who it's by. It is about two teens who both have like rival family grilled cheese food trucks and their names are Pepper and Jack. They are both in charge of the Twitter accounts and they basically have like this rivalry on Twitter 
and they also go to school together and they don't know that they're the one that runs the thing and they have a meet cute or a tweet cute and it's a whole thing so I'm pretty excited about that I think just like their names being Pepper and Jack is like beautiful and then the third book that comes out this month is The Hand on the Wall by Maureen Johnson which is the third book in the Truly Devious series so I will be rereading Truly Devious and annotating that. I might even reread the second book The Vanishing Stare. I'm not 100% sure yet. Then we'll get to the actual readathon books. So the readathon does have some challenges and they are to read a book from a subscription box, read something that has been on your TBR shelves for a long time, read a classic, a book you started but haven't finished yet, the start or the end of a series, an arc, and then a book that covers like three or more of those. So the book that comes from the subscription box I'm kind of cheating on but you're used to that. I'm going to be reading Capturing the Devil by Carrie Maniscalco. This did not come in like a book subscription box but it did come in like a book hangover box. I'm counting that. This is the fourth and final book in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series. I'm super excited to get to this so added it to this list. And for the book I haven't finished I'm going with Scythe by Neil Schusterman. Yes I'm still working on this. I intended to finish it during Fantasyathon. Didn't happen. For the book that's been on my TV are for a long time, an arc, and the start or end of a series. I'm going with Seeger by Kim Chance. Again, I think I got the arc of this like in April of last year. It's been sitting around forever. It came out in like June, I think, maybe July of last year. It's way past its date that it needs to have a review up for and I still haven't read it. That's going to be for those three and because it's for those three it can also count for a uh, book that counts for three or more of the prompts. I don't have a classic that I'm putting on this TBR for the month because I don't, every time I pick out a classic I hate myself and I start reading it and I don't finish it and I'm, I'm just not even putting that on myself right now. It's fine. Just moving on. I will also be doing a buddy read of In a Mirror by Emily Bourne who is an author tuber and I will link her channel in the description box below and I will be reading this with my friend Brianna at Rainy Days Stormy Nights. I will link her channel below as well. I bought this for Brianna for Christmas and we're gonna buddy read it together. I need motivation. Should it not just be motivation that Emily's my friend and I love her and like I continuously tell people to read this book even though I haven't read it? I just trust that Emily is that brilliant because I know she's that brilliant but like shouldn't I probably read the book? There are a few other books that I do plan to get to this month but again I'm gonna keep those a secret. You'll get some of that in the future videos that are coming up in January as January's are. I will probably be posting every odd day during January. I think I have like 16 videos that I plan to post. It's gonna be a lot. I'm currently sitting on my throne surrounded by books with post-it notes on top to remind me which video that stack of books is for. Lots of bulk filming today. Love that for future me who has to edit all of these. So you get to see a whopping, speaking of whopping, that one almost took me out. You get to see this giant stack of four books that I plan to read this month. There's way more than that but that's all I currently own. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, bonus videos on the weekends. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!